guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about a custom goal bar in a very simplistic and minimalist style that will not obstruct your stream or obstruct the view or take away any attention from what your viewers are watching. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So this goal bar that I'm going to show you today is a very simplistic goal bar. You can use it for your sub goals, your follower goals or a donation goal that you've got set up on your stream. And because it's quite small, nice and slim, it's not going to get in the way of anything or clutter the view for anyone watching your stream at the time. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to load up Streamlabs. So once you've hit the Streamlabs dashboard on the left hand side, if you click on all widgets, and for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to go with the donation goal. Now this can be applied to a follower goal or sub goal or any other version of the goal bars within Streamlabs. So once we're inside the donation goal, um, we're going to quickly enable custom HTML and CSS. So within the settings tab here, click on this, scroll down, and then on the bottom option, we just select enabled. This then loads up three tabs, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, using the link from the code pen in the description, this is exactly the same layout as what we're going to be playing with. So this is what you're going to be met with once you load up the code pen link. So what we can do is we can change just a couple of things here for this minimalist, simple goal bar uh, to be displayed on your stream. So let's just change the goal title to begin with. We're going to want to say there's something like new chair or something, you know. And once we've done that, this will automatically update within CodePen itself. It's a lot easier to do this within CodePen first before putting it into Streamlabs or else you're going to start having to save and then open up another browser tab and keep hopping between the two. Whereas with CodePen, you can see it all happening live while you're editing the code. So what we want to do as well, we want to select a different icon. Using this, we're using Font Awesome 4.7. And once you load up this website as well, the link will be in the description. Uh, we shall go on to icons and as you can see they've got a plethora of of icons to choose from so let's just find an easy one just called dollar so what you wanted to do is uh, copy this little code snippet here go back into code pen and see if we can find a similar piece of it should be on line 9 class fa fa star and what we want to do is we just want to replace this whole thing with the code we've copied from font awesome once that's loaded up there we go we've got a nice new dollar sign so the other things that we can do is we can also change the way that this goal bar looks uh, to suit your channel colors a little bit more so within this middle one here within the css within the style properties we're wanting to look for dot inside okay so this should be down on the 30th line and here we can see we've got a background property of 888 now that's a light gray color Using something like HTML color codes, however, we can have a color picker here. And what we want to do is we want to find out what the hex value is of this color. So here at the top, we also have the hex value here of 0088D9. So we want to copy all of that, go back across to the code pen and just replace this as the background color. We also have a border setup as well. We can change this to any other color we want. So for example, if we want black, we can have it as black. And um, if you want to have it as red, you can have it as red. If you want to select it from another color within the HTML color codes, you can do that. But for now, we're ju I'm just going to leave it as a nice light gray. If you wanted to add a, a color background onto the E bar, we can add a new property if we wanted to as well called background. And within that, we can also add in another hex value color. So what we're going to do on this example actually is we're going to remove the border. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a night. Let's have a darker, deep blue color, shall we? So Put down the color picker here. Let's copy this code again. And then once we go here, we can copy this in. And this hopefully should. So that looks that looks a little bit nicer now, doesn't it? Let's change change some of the colors as well for the title and for your donation current state and your donation goal state. So if you look inside the CSS, you're gonna look for line number four. We see this on line number 10 here within the H1. We can see the color black, but let's copy and paste our hex code in. Similar to the dark blue that we've had uh, for the background of the bar. Here we go, we got a new chair here, which is now changed to the darker blue. And if we scroll on down to line 38 and inside here, we've also got on line number 40 color black. Let's just change that around. Oh, let's just um, copy across that hex value again. And code pen should update and there we go. On top of that as well, we can add in a height parameter. So you can actually change how deep the actual goal bar is. So what we want to do is on line 20 is uncomment the two forward slashes. This is going to break it temporarily, only temporarily. And within E bar, we want to add a new line or a new option called height. 
and let's just go ridiculous. Let's just make it five pixels in height. Oh crap, I lost. <gasps> I just lost a fucking browser. Ah! So then what we're going to do is we're just gonna add this height onto the E dash bar. So I'll create a new line on line 28 called height and then just five pixels height. And look how nice, thin and sleek that is. Um, but for now, let's just go to 15 instead. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now copy this into Streamlabs. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna copy all of this HTML here, and then we're gonna go back into the donation goal. And on this first tab here, HTML, just copy everything and overwrite everything that is there already. After then as well, we're gonna copy across the CSS. So we just wanna select all of that, the CSS tab, and yet again, copy, and just remove everything that was there. Now this next bit with the JavaScript, we're gonna have to tweak a couple of things, okay? So what we have to do here is, as you can see, between these two comments, which says example for code pen, remove for Streamlabs, and the end. We want to remove all of this first, okay? So we're going to delete this. And what we want to do is uncomment everything from this uh, line here, which says uncomment setup for Streamlabs. And then we want to uncomment everything between that and end. So if we select everything from line 29 to line two, and then press control forward slash, this will then uncomment it. So this is not gonna look correct right now because it's not pulling through the properties for the JavaScript from Streamlabs. But however, once we select everything here, go into JavaScript on the tabs on Streamlabs, select all of this again, paste that in. Once we've done this, let's just save the settings. And as you can see from before, what we had is if we go up to here, we say copy this URL. I'm gonna load up a new tab and go to there. And then there you go, look how easy that is. So right now, as you can see, as the reflection is if we go back to the manage goal, we've made 20 out of 100. And if we look at this, we've got 20 out of 100 right there. Another handy thing to mention as well is if you're using this for a sub goal or a follower goal, within the HTML in line 14 and line 21, you just wanna remove the pound signs and that'll take it away from looking like a donation. And therefore, if you use this exact same code or follow goals and sub goals, it'll work just out the box as well. So once you've got all that set up, all you need to do is take that URL, copy and paste it into a browser source within your OBS. Once you do that, it should display it on your scene, no problem at all. I would recommend the width to be about 1080 and then your height to probably be about 60 pixels, but depending on the custom height you selected yourself within CodePen and Streamlabs, adjust it accordingly to that. I just wanna thank everyone as well for checking out the last video. I had a lot of positive feedback within the one button pressing for shout outs and for raids and for many other mod preferences on your stream. Um, and on top of that, seeing you guys implement that yourselves onto your own stream deck, it means the absolute world to me. So I will catch you guys in the next tutorial and I'll see you then. Fucking yes! Oh my god, man! Oh.